Hi guys and welcome back to another P.O. Box opening video. I have seven letters for you today so I'm going to jump right in and get started. So when this letter arrived I actually posted it on my Instagram because I thought it was so adorable. Just this um, collage on the front and I think she's got tape and put it over as well so it looks like it's been like laminated. But yeah, I just thought this collage was absolutely beautiful. Um, so this letter is from Katie. And I did take my P.O. Box address offline um, because I'm trying to decrease the amount of letters I do receive. Um, but I really thank everyone who asked me to be my pen pal. Um, I just don't really have the time at the moment, unfortunately. Alrighty. This is so lovely. So we've got this little tea here. We've got a little about me card. That's so sweet. And even this little penguin. And then we've got this beautiful pack and it says things for journaling. Oh my goodness. What a great idea. I want to put little journaling packs together. This is so gorgeous. And the handwriting is really, really adorable. So here is the little pack. I'll open it up. And then I think we have the letter on the back. This is so sweet, the little hand-drawn flowers and it says letter for you. I can't wait to read that one. And then we have a card. What's inside of here? And then we have this beautiful card inside. Thank you. All right, I'll open up your gorgeous journal pack. How sweet. So we've got little stickers. I'll open that one up in a second. We've got press flowers. I might keep that in this little baggie until I'm journaling. Hand-drawn glue-ins. So I think more stickers. And then all these lovely cutouts. Oops. A beautiful washi sample. And then all these lovely cutouts. Oh, and she's even added, like, um, things that I can put in my journal. So it says to-do list. These beautiful flowers with drawings. This little cat. This is perfect because I have the worst handwriting. So I can put these straight in my journal. Checklist. This cute little cat. How adorable are these cute little illustrations? Some colourful paper. Then we've got some colourful paper and a quote. And then some more cutouts. These are so lovely. And I like that you've included this pause to reflect. It kind of sets the scene of what kind of journaling I could do. This has been really, really well put together. So I appreciate all the time and effort you put in making this. I know that you guys who watch these videos always get some really creative ideas from other people. Um, that's why I love sharing these um, P.O. Box opening videos. So yeah, I just love this idea. It's so creative. All right, let's see what's inside these gorgeous little envelopes. I'll start with stickers. <gasps> these are so cute. Oh my goodness, we've got a little Totoro, plants, teacups, oh so sweet, thank you, I love these. I'm going to keep them in here and I'm going to keep it in my little journaling pack because I journal a lot of the items that you guys give me, so thank you so much. And then we've got these little hand drawn, I'm guessing glue-ins is just like stickers? Or maybe they're not sticky on the back, so you literally have to glue them in. <laughs> All right, come on out. Oh, it's Snoopy. Oh my goodness. Did you actually draw these? These are gorgeous. I would buy these stickers if you had an Etsy store. These are so lovely. The little cats and the Snoopy yawning. <laughs> Thank you so much. You've put so much time and effort into this. I really appreciate it. 
So this next letter is from Libby and she's actually one of my patrons so I speak to her regularly and um, on Patreon we also have Zoom catch up meetings so it's so lovely to receive a letter from someone that although I haven't met face to face I feel like I've met virtually. <laughs> so thank you so much in advance. I know it's already going to be gorgeous. <gasps> Now I know I put a lot of emphasis that it's not about the gifts that you give, it's about creating and um, actually writing the letter. So the part that I love about like sending letters so much is that I get to create something for someone else and I think that really shows in a lot of people's letters, it's that they actually get to create art and send it on. So although I love reading people's letters and I really enjoy um, sending them off as well. There's also a lot of joy in crafting and making something for someone else so you can really see the passion in this little letter even though I haven't opened it up yet. So the first thing I see on top are these washi tape samples and as you probably know by now if you've been watching my channel for a while I'm obsessed with botanical prints so this is absolutely gorgeous. Now I think this might be a pocket letter. Oh, does this open up? Look at this gorgeous book and it says, Dear Brittany. Also, there's a construction site next to my house, so I can hear them banging away. So sorry in advance. <gasps> this is so lovely. Oh my goodness. I want to use everything like already. <laughs> All right, so we've got this little pocket of papers. How sweet, this beautiful fox. <gasps> There's multiple animals. This is so lovely. <laughs> Cheesy jacks. <laughs> this is so random. <laughs> okay. Did you hear what happened when the cheese factor exploded? Debris went everywhere. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, where did you find this? I want to add cheesy jokes in all of my letters now. How fun. Do you know what I love? I absolutely love Christmas cracker jokes and it's the perfect season for it. So if anyone has any really awful jokes for me, <laughs> put them in the comment section. I would love to read them. All right. So we've got some awful jokes, sorry, cheesy jokes, <laughs> which I love. Um, and then this beautiful writing paper and envelopes. Do you know what? For someone who writes a ton of letters, I actually don't have a lot of writing paper. I was trying to find some because I wrote a letter to um, May in my last video and um, yeah I couldn't find writing paper anywhere and I was like how is this possible? This is so gorgeous. I'll keep that one private just in case. It's always nice to keep a few things private anyway. Not everything has to be shared on camera. This is just the most gorgeous wax seal ever. It is absolutely shimmering in real life. The gold on top is gorgeous and it matches perfectly with this theme. And then we have a little note down here letting us know that this is the letter. So I'm not going to open that up. A huge thank you to Libby. I always appreciate your support on Patreon as it definitely helps and assists financially to support this channel, my small business and to keep creating content for you guys. So I do appreciate it. And of course, the cheesy joke and the washi tape. <laughs> Thank you so much. This little book is gorgeous. This letter is from Jen, another patron who has signed up to my Patreon and who supports me over on that platform. So thank you so much once again. Um, here is her Instagram. I would highly recommend you go check out Sue underscore sketch. She has gorgeous content and this letter is actually from Jen. That's her first name. So let's open the letter and let's see what's inside. So it looks like that this is going to be a flip book. I'm really excited to see how she's designed this. Um, but also there's a nod to the cacti theme because I used to absolutely love cacti. I've more moved on to the botanicals, but I really, really love these prints. So thank you so much. Um, oh, how do I open this? It just keeps going. Okay. I'm going to keep this string. The string is beautiful. So, ooh, let's open this one up first, maybe. Actually, we'll take the paper clips out. Okay, I'm gonna lay it flat. So 
so I can figure this out so I'm not ripping anything. What? Okay, maybe it opens this way. What? This is really cool. Oh, wow. There's so many layers to this. And I think there's pockets on each one. Okay, all right. I'm going to figure this out because I might want to recreate this. Okay, so we've got some really cool goodies in here. Gorgeous. These look like from Flow Magazine, actually. So we've got a private letter, and I appreciate when you guys write private. I don't ever show the letters on camera, but it's always great to put that on there. This was also in the middle slot, and I love all of these cacti references. This is fantastic. It always feels like Christmas when I get to open my PO box mail because I keep them for so long. So it's like a build up every time. I'm going to just have to rip this. Oh, <gasps> how cute! <laughs> um, so Jen is from the UK and it's like a little UK um, like sticker, sticky notes. This is really cute. Thank you. So there's an Earl Grey tea in this little pocket here. And then we've got a little note to say, open me. So let's see what's inside this one. Oh no, I ripped it. Don't rip. This is gorgeous. I'm going to have to recreate it. I'm always looking for new flipbook ideas. How lovely is that? Oh my goodness. You open it up out of the flipbook and it's like a little DIY, I'm pretty sure. Thank you so much. And then we've also got, I think, oh, what? Okay, this is really cool. All right. So in this little baggie, she's actually added the DIY um, like materials that you would need to use. And then you flip it open on the other side of this little pocket letter. And then it gives you the instructions. That is so lovely. I love that idea and I may steal it. <laughs> I will credit you, Jen, because that is so lovely. And then we've got this magnetic hug me. That's really cool. And then what is in here? Some more goodies. <gasps> That's really beautifully wrapped. And then we've got these gorgeous cards and it looks like she's actually watercolored the back of them with like this metallic watercolor and then also drawn the cacti on top. These ideas are fantastic. I'm in awe. So we've also got this gorgeous washi sample and I think that's everything. I don't think I've missed a flap unless there's something on the back. No, okay. So, if you want to try recreate it, tag me on Instagram, tag Jen on Instagram, and it looks like it's one piece of A4 cardstock. And then it looks like she's made her own envelope here and pockets as well. And then it folds in with this little DIY, and then that one, and then the T, then the washi tape, and then these little pockets. So each flap also had pockets. That is so lovely, thank you so much. I just realized I kept saying Sue as in the name Sue, but it's pronounced Suey because it's S-U-I, so it's Suey sketch. And I just looked up the meaning of it because I was interested because I thought it was a Japanese word. And the meaning is water in Japanese, so I don't know if that's the reason why she's used that as her Instagram, but I thought that was interesting, so I just wanted to share that too. But again, thank you. All of these little DIYs are so adorable and I loved how you packaged everything and I can't wait to read your letter, so thank you. So this gorgeous package is from Brenna and you would know that name if you've been following my channel for, for a while now um, because she runs and owns the Dear Frankie shop. So I will have her link in the description box below. I also used to wholesale a lot of her products so you would notice the um, botanical products that I used to have in my shop that are now all sold out were from her. So a lot of people absolutely loved the botanical prints that she used to create as well as 
all of her other designs are just absolutely gorgeous. So I would really highly recommend you go into the description section of this video and go check her out. Um, the dearfrankie.org, I think she's also still got her Etsy up, um, but I'll also link to her Instagram as well if you'd like to go follow her, even just for inspiration. So I've been waiting to open this one. Oh my goodness, her handwriting. Look how perfect this handwriting is. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. Is this a little note? Okay. I'll pop that one aside just in case it's private. Some ASMR for you. Oh my goodness. So these are letter writing sets and I was just saying that I don't have enough letter writing sets. And they're even more beautiful in real life. Like online, these look absolutely gorgeous. But they're even... I don't know how they got even prettier. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to use these. And I'm probably going to feature these in a few of my... Um, future videos if you want to see how I use them and put them into snail mail packages. So let me just take a photo real quick before I open these up because they're just so pretty. <laughs> so I'm going to open this one that says flowers first. <gasps> I didn't even see that on the back. It's so professionally packed. This is really lovely. Can you guys see that gold shimmer? You can't tell that from photos so I love that I film these videos. I could just shimmer that all day. <laughs> so the letter writing set comes with these two envelopes. And these are really, really good quality. You can't tell on camera, but it's like a thick cardstock. And then we've also got this gorgeous pink one as well. No, the camera's not picking up these beautiful colours. This is like this most beautiful like blush pink. They're both like really nice and pastel. They're exactly the colours that I love. <laughs> Alright, so so we've got these gorgeous watercolour flowers on the side here in these circle stickers. And also these ones we can write the address on so it would match perfectly on front of one of these letter sets. So it's nice and thick cardstock again. And it's got all the beautiful flower prints at the top. Thank you so much. So this is the little window inside of the little letter set. And as I said, the packaging is so pretty. And I think this might even be hand written on. I don't know. Maybe it's printed or a stamp or something. So again, it comes with two beautiful envelopes. The four round fern stickers at the side and also these address labels. And then we've also got the beautiful writing paper with the ferns at the top as well. And I'm guessing there's going to be six of these as well. Thank you so much, Brenna. This is such a lovely set. I hope these all sell out because they're absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. So next we have this massive package from Juliana. It's really big at the side. You guys can't really see it, but it is chunky. <laughs> All right, whoa, this is jam-packed. And Juliana is from the United States. So, okay, wow. How cool is this? It's like a massive kawaii pack. I feel like I'm receiving this from Japan. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take a cute photo before we get started. All righty, so let's see what's inside. So we've got the letter, so I'll pop that one down there. And then we've got... <gasps> Look at this beautiful Alice in Wonderland printout. Okay, I'll pop that one down there. Enjoy today. Oh, I have been. <laughs> and then this gorgeous wrapped envelope here. I love how she's decorated that. And then another one. And everything is so chunky. Even like the stickers puff out. 
Which one should I get started on? Should we get started on stuff? Oh yeah? <laughs> Alright, let's see what's inside here. And it says, warning, look deep. Okay. <gasps> this just keeps going. There's little collages everywhere. This is so cute. I'm going to put this in my journal. I love it. Alright, so the first thing in here is these beautiful washi samples. Look how fun they are. It looks like you had a lot of fun making this. I can see the joy that went into this. <laughs> oh, we got a little Nawa um, rubber. And then some beautiful papers. So these are pretty Japanese ones, like origami ones. And then what is in here? It just keeps, it's like an Alice in Wonderland letter. It's like you open it up and there's something else inside. It just keeps going and going. Oh, a beautiful saying or a quote maybe. I'll read that one at the end. And then we've got this cute little Mickey Mouse sticker. And then another cute little quote. Some pretty paper. Some more pretty paper. Look, I told you, it just keeps going. <laughs> envelope after envelope. Stamps. Oh, lovely. So I'm guessing she's stamped all of her rubber stamps in here. I'll go through those ones afterwards. Thank you. I love when people share their stamps. And then we've got... Some beautiful writing paper. Open me. Okay. I shall do that. And then we've got some colour in paper. And then, what is in here? Oh, this is so sweet. It's a little um, passage out of the book Cinderella. It looks like it's been maybe photocopied, like scanned in and printed out. What a lovely little bundle of goodies. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that with me. So let's see what's inside Enjoy Today. And there's like this little bangle on the front. There's all these like cute little surprises. <laughs> Wow, we've got more pretty papers. I love this little dried flower on the front here. So we've got some cute little quotes, envelopes, stickers, pretty papers. This is so lovely, I can't wait to journal with all these. Thank you so much. So lastly, we have this really long envelope and like I said, there's this beautiful collage on the front and it's really pretty decorated. So, I think it opens up like this. What is inside? This is so creative, the little pockets are triangles. So you've got some gorgeous tea. And then what's on the other side? BFF, that's so cute. Thank you, I love chamomile tea. Thank you for sending this letter in the mail. It looked like you have a lot of fun making and I had a lot of fun opening it too. It just burst with creativity, so I appreciate it. So we have two more letters left and this one is from Hannah. So I just opened it up and there's this gorgeous bundle of stationary goodies inside. Um, but I'm gonna go check out our Instagram first. She's asked me to follow, so Hannah's underscore journaling. So let's go check it out. So, I found your Instagram, Hannah. If you were watching this, I realized you had no posts, but I did follow you anyway, just in case, because I was curious to see what kind of content you're going to post. So, message me on Instagram once you've started posting, and then I can actually share your Instagram and see what kind of content you're gonna create. So let's have a look at what she's included. So, look at this gorgeous washi type at the top here. It just shimmers with the sun. So it's an envelope full of goodies. I'll open that one up in a second. We've got the letter playlist and questions. So like always, I'll read that one at the end in case there's something private inside. And then we've got this adorable package full of papers and some stickers. How lovely. Thank you. All right, I'll pop the stickers aside with the letter. 
Let's see what's in this one first. I love the idea of just creating a little sleeve, if you don't have envelopes especially. These would be perfect, these papers for journaling, so thank you. I'm always looking for more journaling papers. I haven't shared a journaling video in a while. If you guys want to see it, I might do some for the new year. We've got dinner planners. Oh, that's gorgeous. Did you make that? And then envelopes. Oh, is that where the wild things are, envelope? I don't know, maybe it's just a monster. <laughs> All right. I'll pop that aside, thank you. And then, what is in here? So this was an envelope of goodies. We've got, oh yes, you've included the beautiful washi, thank you. It's so shiny, <laughs> I feel like I'm a magpie right now. And then we've got some gorgeous tags, which I've been collecting more tags because I want to create little DIY tags for my pen pals. Some little sticky and memo pads. And then, oh, this cute little cacti. Oh, these watercolors are beautiful, thank you. And then some stickers. Oh. Oh, look. I don't know if you used the same method that I did when I created my own stickers, but it kind of looks like you have. Because it looks like you've collaged and then allowed space to add like address labels or put them in your journal. I love these, thank you. Everything inside was absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to read your letter and yeah, see the content that you're going to post on your Instagram. So do message me if you start um, posting content. I love following creative accounts, um, so thank you. Now I know you guys don't want this video to end and trust me, if I could open letters for days I would because I find so much joy in opening your letters and seeing what you guys create. It's so much fun to see how you design things, how you collage, how you package things, what you write in your letters. It honestly gives me so much joy. So lucky last, this one is from, so far all I have is an A.F. White. Um, so let's see what's inside and it's from Canada. This is really exciting. It's like a galaxy themed letter. I haven't had a galaxy themed one in a while. Oh, it's teas. What a cute little baggie and it's really shiny. Hooray. I think I say this in every PO Box opening video, but I wish there was a smell camera where you can smell what I'm smelling because these teas smell so good. And also the cooking channel would just be incredible if there was a smell camera. <laughs> All right, so thank you so much for those teas. I'm actually gonna drink one of those this afternoon because it smells delicious. Look at this gorgeous shaker pocket. It kind of looks like little UFOs because it's on a galaxy theme print. I haven't even opened it yet and I love this flip book, so thank you. <gasps> All right, so we've got the gorgeous letter and then we've got notes. <gasps> First of all, Look at this beautiful stamp on top. I'm pretty sure it's been stamped. It says, I have too much washi, said no one ever. <gasps> I need that in my life. I want to do washi stamps and I want to stamp that everywhere. <laughs> and then look at these gorgeous washi tapes. Oh, I can't wait to use these and hope they can find this stamp one day so I can stamp this everywhere. <laughs> All right. I love these colors because I haven't seen them anywhere before as well. This is so cool, over the moon. What is in this little? Oh, this is vellum paper. That's cool. This is really lovely. You are my favorite human. This is so cute. And I think it's like a little notebook or like memo pad. I love that. Like I said, I wanna peek through everyone's stationery and craft rooms. May all your dreams come true. Oh, thank you. And it's such a lovely quote at the end of the year. Oh, more washies. Plants are friends. <laughs> I love that sticker. Plants are friends. <laughs> 
My plants are looking so sad. I need to water them. I need to actually get pots for them today so I can water them properly. And then look, I've never seen this washi either. These are so cool. Look how adorable these woodland animals are. And there's even like a Christmas tree and a mushroom. When you receive mail from other countries, you get to experience lots of different stationery that everyone collects. I think it's really cool. <gasps> this is so beautiful. Thank you. Handcrafted. Oh, thank you so much, Anita. I really appreciate it. If anyone's waiting to receive any letters from me or if they've ordered from my shop and there's um, been delays, COVID has just delayed everything because a lot of the letters are being shipped by boat and also um, Christmas time has delayed everything as well. So thank you again to everyone who has sent me a letter over the last month or so. <laughs> I know that they've been taking a while to come in, but I really do appreciate it and love seeing all your creations. So thank you and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.